With COVID cases dropping nationally and locally here in Durham, university sports are returning in the Easter term. We're here at Maiden Castle with Josephine Butler hockey team who have been able to train for the first time since early November to ask students and organisers how difficult has it been to get back to sports and what does it mean to them that they're able to resume. Alistair, thank you for speaking to us. Just wanted to ask, how difficult has it been to organise this return for hockey? Uh, yeah, it's been quite a challenging year. I think probably more than most people are expecting. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot of admin to get to get sorted to make sure that it's as safe and sort of COVID secure as possible. Um, but yeah, it's great to be back. Um, yeah, it's been a lot of work throughout the year by uh, pretty much everyone. Think, yeah. Awesome. And seeing everybody back behind us practicing, do you feel that that's made it all worth it? Yeah, definitely. So I mean, uh, college sports a massive part of uh, sort of student life, um, student experience. So it's great to sort of see everyone again, uh, get down it, a bit of a run around, a bit of uh, socialising. But yeah, that's great to be back. Is there any hope for college competitions to return later in the year? We know we haven't been able to have that for much of this year, but do you think that it'll happen? Yeah, we've got a um, we've got a mini league set up, so I think we've got uh, four or five games um, that are going to be going throughout the term. And then uh, there's possibly even a knockout tournament towards the end of the uh, sort of end of June, which would be good. So yeah, I mean, credit to Team Durham, We've got a pretty busy schedule coming up. So, yeah. Sports is a pretty integral part of most university life. So how does it feel as a participant to be able to get back to that? Well, it's it's not just a part like uh, the group in general, but just for me and myself. Like I'm at the gym and I'm playing hockey, playing rugby, all these things. It's it's more of an outlet than just a. Uh, just going and trying to be healthy it's a social thing as well like you're not cooped up in your room I mean it's exam season so just getting out of your room interacting with people and actually having fun while you're doing it is such a huge thing uh, and I think it's as I say not just physical but mentally it's just so important. Pulling on that social aspect we know it's been very difficult for students this year to be able to socialise with people as they would potentially usually do you think sport's been an exception to that and it's been easier for people to make connections like that in environments such as these? Definitely. I, I mean, I've always encouraged people to get into it just for that reason, because when you're playing as part of a team, you've got you, you can rely on your friends, not only just to work as a part of a team, but you can talk to them. So like um, if you're struggling at home, being face to face with somebody and actually talking about um, the issues that you may be facing as an individual uh, with other people, it, it's just such a relief. What would you say to a first year student who maybe hasn't been able to get out that much? And now that sports is returning, they're thinking about it definitely get involved i think everybody has these preconceived notions of what it's like just uh, get rid of them and go and get involved in whatever you can whether it's a new sport that you've never tried before or one that you've done uh, for years and um, the social and the just the physical well-being that it'll bring for you is just immense as exam season gets underway many students will be looking for a way to de-stress and to get involved in their community socially and for this presenter there's no better avenue than sport i'm john carton and this is pal tv